Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. I feel like this is very cringy because it's been probably a year since I sat down and actually recorded a video that I'm attempting to upload. So just bear with me. It's been a while. I don't know when the last time I actually uploaded and recorded a video. Um, Might have been a year ago. We are about to get into 2023 because it is currently December 31st and I'm going to have this uploaded for tomorrow which will be January 1st 2023 okay so to start off our Q&A we're gonna do one of the basics which is what is my name my name is Jasmine um I don't really like to go by Jasmine I like to go by Jazz or Benice and the people that call me Benice either have to be family or somebody really close to me um I don't know Lenise is like my alter ego it's a mix of my dad and mom's middle name combined which is why i like it so much it's like unique in its own way to me um i do have a tattoo on my wrist it needs to be redone but um yeah that's my name so my name is jasmine um jasmine lenise however you want to call me jasmine jazz lenise my youtube channel name which is like skin and with that being said well, as far as my youtube name the next question would be where did my YouTube channel name come from? So my YouTube name is Light Skin Beauty. I don't really know where it came from. It kind of just came to my head because I am light skin. And I think initially when I made my YouTube channel, I wanted to do kind of like beauty stuff, even though that's not really my thing. Um, I don't know. I thought it was cute. So I kind of just stuck with it. Light Skin Beauty because I'm light skin. It was different. I didn't really want to have like my name as my channel name or like anything affiliated with my name i wanted something different and that's what came to me the next question would be um do i have any tattoos or piercings i have this tattoo and i have a tattoo on my thigh which i can insert a picture either here or over there um i had my nose pierced three times two on one side and one on the other side i don't really remember um i have my ears you know your typical regular piercing and then I got my industrial on this side but I don't have it anymore I took it out uh because it was growing a little bump a little keloid and I don't do those so I just went ahead and took it out it was a lot of maintenance and mm -mm, I don't no it was fun while it lasted probably for like a month um but I wouldn't get it again and as far as tattoos, I do plan on adding more to my thigh tattoo and getting more tattoos. I'm supposed to have one like right here when I went and got my thigh, but I wasn't able to due to timing and my tattoo artist had to leave. So, um, yeah, that will probably be a vlog one day, but I do have tattoos. I have piercings. Um, Next have question is, am I a dog mom or do I own pets? So I am a dog mom of two. I currently have my newest dog here with me and the other one is back home. Um, we're gonna answer that as another question. But yeah, um, if you guys like to meet him, stay tuned because he's about to be featured on my channel in three, two, one. Alrighty guys, so here is my puppy. His name is Knight. Um, he did come from back home and he flew back here with me. My mom picked him out for me because I had been looking for a dog. This is the shirt he has on, a little tuxedo, because why not? Um, yeah, I've had him since she got him probably like end of September. And then I went and picked him up early October. So I've had him about two-ish two -ish months going on three stop it and he is about eight months old i think okay get out he's about eight months old he is a or he's believed to be a yorkie yorkie terrier and a miniature schnauzer that's what i say he is my mom went and got him a dna test 
for Christmas and we're gonna DNA test them whenever I feel like it. And then eventually I'll probably do a whole little video just based on him and then we'll find out what he's actually mixed with because as you can see, he has the face of a, he has the face of a Scottish Terrier and typically the body of a mini Schnauzer. He's not too big. Say hi to the people. Say hi. Okay, bye. Anyway, yeah, that's my kid. Um, I'm gonna answer maybe yeah. like two or three more questions. Uh, one of the ones I wanted to answer as well was what is my birthday slash my zodiac sign and what is like a misconception about me? And I put those two or three kind of hand in hand because I feel like my zodiac sign has to do with the misconception of who I am and it's annoying. But to answer that question, my birthday is 7-Eleven, thanks to Beyonce, period. It's a national holiday. Um, that's July 11th, I am a Cancer. I was supposed to be a Leo. I was supposed to be born July 28th, but your girl is a Cancer. Love to see it. Um, and as far as the misconception, everybody, everybody says Cancers are crybabies, emotional, I, bipolar, I, everything you can think of in a book, and it's annoying. It's annoying. I'm not a crybaby. Yes, I can be emotional, but I feel as if I'm going to stand on whatever I say or I'm going to stand on however I feel. And like, don't take that as me being a crybaby, me being emotional. Like, no, I just feel strongly on what I say, how I feel, etc. And my thing is, if you don't like it, then you don't like it. Can you stop? My thing, yeah, that if you don't like it, you don't like it. That's fine. I don't really care. It is what it is. Um, what's another misconception? Oh, I have a RBF, um, which is like a resting face or like a mug on my face all the time. And I mean no harm. I'm not like a stuck up person. I hope not. People in high school, middle school used to say like, oh, Jasmine stuck up, blah, 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 blah. I just don't give a lot of people my time and day. I don't give a lot of people my attention. Um, and of course this is usually boys saying it I don't really care for boys like leave me alone please um, the girls will usually say oh I seem stuck up or I look mean but then they actually get to know me I'm like really nice genuine sweet all that good stuff so that's another misconception just being stuck up having an RBF possibly always having an attitude I usually don't have an attitude until you accuse me of having an attitude that's how that goes. So, I am a Cancer, also known as the mother sign of the Zodiac. Um, I like being a Cancer. I like being a summer baby. It's really hot, but I know previously I mentioned back home. So the next question would be, why did I leave Houston? I am originally from Houston, Texas, and I no longer live in Houston, Texas. And I can officially say that, which is funny because I don't like when people, <laughs> whatever. I'm not gonna even say it, whatever. Um, I left Houston in 2021, September 2021. And I moved to Orlando, Florida to do the Disney College program. Um, that was really fun. I did it for a full year. So from September 2021 to the end of August of September, I mean the end of August of 2022. And pretty much by like after my birthday, so like July 2021, I was like, I don't wanna go home. And I ended up applying to a location out here in Orlando and I got hired. And I just been living in Orlando ever since. Um, people ask me like, do I miss home? Will I come back? This, that, and the third. I mean, of course you'll miss home. I mean, it's home. I have been in Houston all 21 years of my life, whatever. And I kind of just wanted to break And then also the Disney College program. Like, how could you pass up? Okay, I'm sorry. sorry. My mom called me, of course. Um, I don't really know where I left off, but I'm um, doing a Disney College program. It was, um, it was fun. It was nice. We can do a whole separate video on that. I do have two videos on my channel. Uh, kind of about it i did a one month update um 
and I actually need to do like a full overview from like beginning to end. If you guys are interested in that, please let me know so I can actually do it and I just say I'm gonna do it and then, you know, trying to be more consistent. And that's another video that I can get out the way. Um, but yeah, so I'm from Houston, Texas, born and raised, but now I am a Floridian, as what everybody calls me, and I don't like it because don't call me a Floridian. I'm still a Houstonian, you know? And my last question would be, what are my interests or like goals, whatever, however I wanna work that. Um, my interests, goal, they tie hand in hand, so we're just gonna answer it. Um, I want to be, I don't know if I wanna be a culinary chef or a pastry chef, probably culinary, cause you could probably get a little, a little further in life with culinary more than pastry. I would probably, have a degree in culinary and then a certificate in pastry just so I can have both backgrounds together um but I do aspire aspire inspire whatever word I do hope to be a culinary chef one day um also another interest would be my small business which is like not closed but it's not open because all of my items are at home and that small business is um, Lenny's Sweet Sensations. It started off as me baking, and then it turned into me doing um, treats dipped in chocolate, so chocolate covered strawberries, Oreos, pretzels, Rice Krispies, all dipped in chocolate. Um, it does fairly good whenever I do decide to sell something, which is typically uh for valid like any holiday or if i'm just wanting extra little pocket change i'll do like a ten dollar cup i have a video on my channel for the ten dollar cups that i do oh um, another goal is to be more consistent with my channel so hopefully we're gonna say by my birthday i can have a thousand subscribers and you know the four thousand watch hours hopefully i'm more consistent hopefully my videos are interesting and Okay, yeah. I have to stop my dog. This is the toy that he's playing with that my mom got him for Christmas. It sings, as you can hear, in distractions. So anyway, um, so yeah, that's my that's my goal, is to possibly go to school, be a culinary chef, get a certificate in pastry so I can have the full background, and to be more consistent on YouTube, and to possibly be monetized by my birthday, if not my birthday, then definitely by the definitely by the end of next year and there's something else I said oh my interest uh me and my small business um it does pretty good like I said I open it whenever I feel the need to open it which is definitely during a holiday I do have very loyal customers so sometimes I'll throw in you know something free for them because they've been the ones supporting me since day one when I was learning how to dip chocolate and all that stuff um so yeah that is it for my Q&A today if you guys do have any other questions that you would like to know about me please please be please engage with me and leave them in the comment section down below if you have any video video ideas for me or for my child that little rascal down there um please leave those ideas in the comments down below please help me stay consistent with video ideas it's very appreciated um happy new year happy holidays as well stay motivated for 2023 um stay blessed yeah and just bear with me on this long-awaited journey of starting my youtube back I would like to say thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next video, which hopefully can be out this week if I can find something else to record. Love you guys. Bye.